After opening a newly created job, access the station setup menu by pressing the 7 key while in the BMS screen. In this station setup menu, there are seven choices to pick from. Scroll down to see the last two. For this case, we will use option 1, known point. Pressing the 1 key or the record enter key when the known item is highlighted brings up the input station screen. We will number this first instrument station, which is also a control point, as 10. We will enter the station's known arbitrarily set coordinates. Enter the value for X as a thousand feet and press record enter. Enter the value for Y as a hundred feet and press record enter. Enter the value for Z as ten feet and press record enter. We will name this point CP10-IP1 for control point 10, instrument point 1. Press enter and we are asked for the height of the instrument from the point on the ground to the crosshair on the side of the instrument. We measured the actual height of the instrument at 5.25 feet. Pressing the record enter key will bring back the backsight screen which is needed to orientate the coordinate grid we have just created. We will number this backsight 5 up from our IP station number, which in this case is 15. Again, note that we have selected a point to use as a backsight on the structure we are going to monitor, which lies on a line roughly perpendicular to the structure. We will set the horizontal angle to this point to be our zero horizontal angle. Note that this backsight is not the same as a backsight in a traverse. This is the point that we are sighting to set our angle or azimuth to zero. The backsight point that has been chosen has been sighted through the telescope and the MSR key which corresponds to the type of reflector being sighted, either reflector or reflector less, is pressed. This measurement sets the horizontal orientation of the grid. Pressing the record enter key completes the station setup process. Note that when enter is pressed, the coordinates of the backside are not saved. This point must be measured and saved. The total station is now ready to measure and record points referenced to a known grid with a known orientation. It is now possible to dismantle the instrument and reinstall it at this point, and knowing the backside, be able to reestablish the total station relative to this grid in three dimensions.